star blocks and star border blocks are just plain embroidery and applique, just like the watermelon blocks. So I'm going to make a in multiples. They use the same four by four lines, one horizontal. I'm going to pull in one and then I'm going to pull in the star block and they have centered each other right now. There's no alignment that is necessary. And I'm going to actually copy and paste both of these and make two of them. So I'm going to change up these lines that are the same right here. I'm going to change them up. just to make sure I have time to lay down my batting and trim it up and all that. So I'm going to change this default blue to this. Just click the first one and tell it OK. I'm going to change this default orange. I'm just going to click on the color chip and tell it OK. And the turquoise is fine. The background quilting on both of the blocks will be the same, so I don't need to change either one of them. And for the star block, this is a placement line. This is a tack down. This is a placement line. I need to change it. And that's a tack down. I need to change that. Make sure it's not the same orange as what is up in here. So that's 1137 orange. This one is 1065 orange. And this is a satin stitch this is a satin stitch, and this is a satin stitch. So no other changes need to happen here. Okay, I'm going to uh, close these up. And now I'm going to Control A to select all. And you can see both of them are highlighted. And I'm going to put my cursor over here on the stitches and go right click and copy. And I'm going to I clicked off of it, but I'm going to control A again to select them all. And I'm going to use my arrow key and just move it over. And then click off of it. Close that up and then right click and paste. And I'm going to move this one over. That was pretty simple. So we're actually going to make six of these and I'm going to do them on the multi needle. The applique process is exactly the same it was for the single needle on the first watermelon that we did and it's just going to be a lot easier to do these on the multi needle and there's six of them to get done so I'm going to put Spanky to work. So now we need to color sort these and I'm going to go utility color sort new view and let's see what we got okay hmm that's not right no that's not what i want placement tack down placement tack down lines placement tack down ah i see the problem okay so this needs, this blue right here needs to be 1094. So let me hit that hit the chip and I need 1094, tell it okay. There, make sure these are the same. Default orange, default orange. What is this? No, I don't want to do that. Let's use the periwinkle. And then this one will be the periwinkle as well. Maybe I messed that up. Let's see. Now we got 1137, 1137, 17 turquoise, 17 turquoise. That's correct. All right. So the stars are right, or the background quilting's right. Now let's check the stars. Default blue, it should be because I copied and pasted. Blue, orange, 1133. Uh, I don't want that 1065 to be like that. That's not going to color sort right. Let's use orange red. And orange red. And then these need to stitch in this order. So it has white, electric, and white. Let's choose this and change it to 
uh, this gold spark. Okay, so we've got blue, orange, 1133, 1379, right? Blue, orange, 1133, 1379, that's correct. White, electric, white, and we're going to switch this to that gold spark until it okay. Now, the reason we change the colors on the screen is so that we can color sort them properly. Just going to move this over just a little bit. Okay. Now it should color sort correctly. So let's try utility, color sort, new view. Now let's see what we got. Placement line, tack down, placement line, tack down, background stitching, placement line, tack down, placement lines, tack downs, white, satin, blue or red satin, and another satin stitch. That works. Now I'm going to go file, save, stitch, and working. Because uh, I may need these horizontal stitches again, and I want to leave this in the same color sort that it's already in. So I'm going to save stitch and working, Kimber Bell, stars, sorted. So I'm star sorted here. I'm going to go file, save stitch file as, and I'm going to save it to my USB drive right there. Stars sorted, save. All right, we're ready to go to the machine. Okay, Oop. here are the background squares for the star blocks. These go on the flags. Put these. And here are the background blocks for the uh, border squares. These are going to go in all four corners of the quilt. I did not cut out the star points for these on the scan and cut. So I'm going to have to do that. That's going to be another one I got to do. Okay, I'm going to take this to the cutting table. Now I'm going to give them a good dose of steam. I'm about ready to do the star blocks. These are going to be the ones, these uh, blue ones right here. This is exactly like what we did with the watermelon blocks, both the single needle and the multi needle. So I'm going to put my USB drive into my little hub and I'm going to hit the home key and that will delete everything that's on the screen. And I'm going to go to my USB for memory and stars sorted right there. Again, we're going to have to rotate it 90 degrees, and I'm going to tell it set. Everything looks fine. I'm sure it's upside down, but it doesn't matter on this particular pattern. So I'm going to tell it edit end, and I'm going to go to the three spools so I can tell it what colors to use. We have 12 color changes. Let me get in there so you can see. Again, it is listing one through, it'll list one through ten and then it'll start all over again with one and two. So the first stitch, this is what we're worried about right here. This is the color spool number that it would use, but we're going to change that and that's what this menu here is for. So I'm going to do just about everything in a single color and it's all going to be number 10. So I'm just going to tell it um, spool number 10 and that is the placement line. I need it to stop and then stitch number 10 and the next one I need it that is for me to put the batting down and then I'll take the batting away need it to stop color 10 and there is the fabric tack down this is fabric placement this is fabric tack down I need it to be number 10 the next one is the background quilting. That's going to be spool number four. And then all of these are going to be number 10. 
So this is the placement line for the blue diamonds. Before it does anything, I want it to stop. And then it will do the tack down for the blue diamonds. There's the placement line for the white diamonds, number 10. Before it, let me scooch down. Before it does anything, I need it to stop. And then there's the tack down for the blue diamonds satin stitching and it gives you the option I guess you can change the colors but in the book it looks like everything is the same color it's just the order that it's stitched down so I'm completely fine with this and all done let's go back to the top and we're ready to go down need it to stop so I can trim away the batting if you accidentally cut a hole in your batting put some tape on the back of it now we need the placement line for the fabric So I'm going to go ahead and put my fabric down and I'm going to put a little piece of tape on here just to make me feel better so it doesn't shift at all. Not necessary probably, but tack down stitch for the fabric. See when you have a larger hoop, you can make two just as quick as you can make one. Time for the background quilting. Here's the placement stitches for the star points. I need to iron on my blue star points. I'm going to put my little mat down here. I can tell I'm going to have to do a tiny little touch with the iron to get it to stick just for a second before I place the next one because they're going to want to shift around. And that's okay. This is the tack down stitch and I don't really need to do it because everything's ironed on. I'm going to stop and I'm going to cut the thread. I'm going to jump ahead one. Here's the placement lines for the white star points. going to skip the tack down stitch and start with the satins. I should run out of bobbin thread before too long now. All right, this is going to take a while. We've got a little bit to go, about 20 more minutes, so I'm going to turn on my stitch monitor. There we are. And I'll just have it with me, and if anything happens, then my phone will chime at me and let me know. I was just fixing to walk away. What did I just tell you guys? <laughs> 
All right. What are you doing? Chicken coming in. Okay. Kate's fixing to pull chicken off the grill. Okay, so the way you work these, this is a magnetic bobbin. And there is a light blue plastic part and there's a black part. The black part is the magnet and that goes against the inside of the casing, the bobbin case, and you just pull it up and through like every other. These are Filtex, ready to go. Just leave a little tail. I mean, these things just run flat out. It doesn't have a sensor to tell you when it's fixing to drop, you'd think. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to back up 10 stitches. I'm going to hit the needle plus minus. Minus 10. Eh. Uh, I've got a little tail here. Let me minus 10 more. That'll be good. And we'll go. Okay, we are all finished. This turned out great. Let's take a look. Oh, that turned out just beautiful. I really, really like it. I chose kind of a different color blue than all the other blues in the block, but I think it'll, I think it's just fine. That'll make a pretty star in those flag blocks. Okay, two down, four to go. All right, two done, two to go. That looks awesome. Okay, I gotta trim these up to four and a half by four and a half. So I'm gonna rough cut them and using the orange pop rulers, the smallest one, again, is four and a half by four and a half. I'm going to make sure that I can see the background quilting at the bottom over here. And I've got an equal distance. Yeah, that works. Right like that. I'm going to give myself a little more room for my hand. These are great because they have the little grooves on them that allow you to get all the way to the end. You definitely want a rotating mat. I'll put a link to this one below. This is the Ulfa. I love it. This is the big one. This is the uh, 17. I have the 12 oh, down the coast. All right, there's that one. That turned out great. That looks wonderful. Okay. Next. Perfect. I love it.